how about a video on the ultimate working from home setup? So, ladies and gentlemen, I present you my January 2024 update of my working from home setup. Um, quite a few new additions in the last year. I haven't filmed it before, but I'm a fan of screens and giant screens and tech. So, let me show you what I've got here. I'll start from left to right. Um, Steam Deck, uh, the limited edition OLED model. I absolutely love it. And I have it hooked up to this screen here. Um, this is the LG Dual Up. It's got an ergo arm that's in behind. You'll see it there. Um, so I've got it in picture in picture mode now. So this is my screen uh, screens uh, for my ubiquity uh, cameras that are outside. And uh, the bottom part is where I'd have my uh, Steam Deck OLED running or sometimes my computer here. <clears throat> this is a Ryzen 9 7900X uh, with a 4070 Ti uh, video card. It's great for my needs, uh, but now since I've updated it to the Samsung Arc 55-inch Gen 2. So this Gen 2 is awesome. I wanted to get the Gen 1, but I didn't buy it because it didn't allow you to do four inputs at the same time through HDMI or DisplayPort. The change now with the 2024 Gen 2 model, or end of 2023, is that I can now have my work laptop. I don't have them displayed here now because I use the bottom screens for my work. So split screen, 27 inch at the bottom. And I will use my gaming computer up here at the top. Or I'll switch it for the PlayStation 5. Um, so I need to switch the wires back and forth because I only have four inputs, but I've got like six devices. So I'll start again. So 4070 Ti in here. Um, it's awesome. And it was the only one that would fit um, this NZXT V2 uh, version uh, because this only takes a two card slot width. Um, so the 4070 is the only one at the time that would fit in here. It is an awesome gaming machine. The LG Dual Up Ergo Arm. I love this thing. It's fantastic. I do have a work laptop back here that's on a vertical stand. Um, iPad uh, Pro, uh, 11 inch. Love this. And over here, so again, uh, this is the Arc 55 inch Gen 2. Fantastic. I have a few minor complaints. Uh, basically, the biggest complaint that I have is that when I do a 4x4 four four like this, and I have my work at the bottom, the image is clear on all screens but if the screen turns off and i turn it back on if i go to lunch or whatnot one of the two screens at the bottom for work will have a fuzz around the text like a blue pink hinge okay or a hue the only way i can get rid of that and this works is that i exit the 4x4 here i go back into a one display i'll click the multi view here on the remote Yes, this is the remote, and that is a solar panel screen that will charge with the light bar that's here. And so once I go back into multi-mode, which I can click here. Give me a second. I'll try that again. Oh, because I'm already in it. Okay, if I click that multi-mode and I go back into my 4x4, the screen is nice and clear. So at least that workaround works, and the image is clear, clear enough for me to work on there all day long. Um, this is a... Um, see an Amazon branded um, light bar um, with the uh, optional uh, connector here and it's actually actually held on by a magnet so every time I take it off the base it, it comes off but this is awesome so this lets me change the color you see that and it changed the brightness I love this thing best 50 bucks ever um, I do have a leather desk pad this is a great desk pad and this is also a Amazon one from I think Galloway and the the stand is so big for the arc is that it, it comes up this far. So I'll either have to decide either to put this on top of this or leave it like this. It doesn't bother me too much, but I do like to move my keyboard throughout the day. And um, yeah, so I move my keyboard throughout the day and it starts hitting this hump here. So that's a little bit of a pain in the butt. And uh, so this is the Logitech MX3. Uh, uh, so I've got the keyboard and the mouse um i love it i control my mac my steam deck uh, my windows computer my work computer all by switching 
the three different inputs here. Yes, I mentioned a couple more than three devices, but I reprogram them as I need. But I'm always programming three devices just with the click of a button here, here, or here. And the same thing on the bottom of the mouse to change between the three different inputs. Fantastic. Um, over here in the corner, I've got a Mac Pro fully loaded. Um, so Max Core D700, so it's got a terabyte drive in there. Fantastic little machine. I use it to power this display, which is basically a television. It's a 43 inch Vizio, uh, 4K, 30 Hertz, nothing's fancy. I've used this as a gaming monitor years ago, um, so I couldn't get rid of it and it uh, works great. No issues with it whatsoever. All right, so this is my little setup here. If you have any questions, don't be shy. I do have a large collection of retro video games and handhelds and whatnot. Don't be shy, leave a comment. Talk to you soon.